Neptown Tuner here, like and subscribe. We threw a belt on this thing, and the last repair I've got to do is an oil leak repair. This belt, well, I already took the tensioner off, I already showed all this stuff, but this might seem like a pretty easy repair, and you're probably not going to need to do this for anything unless maybe this o ring on the bottom goes bad or someone serviced it and it wasn't installed properly. You could have oil leak from down here. But in my case, I completely lost this belt because this tensioner locked up and you'll see it whenever I remove it. There's a big gash in here and it was causing an oil leak and a vacuum leak because these engines, vacuum is applied to the whole entire thing. So if you have a, a hole somewhere for some reason, if you have any kind of uh, oil leak, you're also subject to a vacuum leak. And you don't need to take the whole core support off to do this. You can get to it like this from up top. I've done many of these from up top. This is an aftermarket dipstick. They did not come factory with the dipstick. Both of these bolts are gonna be a little bit longer. You have to get both of these T30s all the way out. And then you simply pull it out. Seems easy enough, right? It's not a bad idea to clean this off and put a little silicone sealer here. Sometimes that can aid you into slipping it in as well. You Sometimes it's pretty difficult to slip this dipstick in this hole because sometimes it's water sits here or this little lip right here will get some rust on it or something and also you kind of have to snake it in properly if you were to go like this you're going to push this coolant hose in and it's not going to fit right you have to put it on the inside of this coolant hose and probably even the inside of this wiring as well because if this wiring is a little bit tight and pulling this connector it's you just don't want to you don't want to have your wiring tight and pulled like that so it's best just to, uh, do you hear that? You hear it pop into place? And then also it has a shoulder on the bottom here. You really wanna make sure that it's all the way fully seated. Another good way of making sure that it's fully seated is if it pops all the way in, these bolt holes will line up perfectly. This one right here and this one up here. So you shouldn't have to have any trouble fighting with getting these screws in. Of course, you're lining up two different things in this bolt hole right here. So, and before you get this one all the way tight, go ahead and start your top one. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you. This is the old dipstick funnel. This is actually the newer style as well. It's it's skinnier. It kind of is slimmer. It fits in there a little bit better. This one has a real nice shoulder on the top, whereas this, this older style does not. This right here is where it cut into it. You see that big gash where the belt chopped into this, uh, the dipstick tube? There you go, folks. Like, comment, and subscribe.